match going for a, a record of 155 at Hamlin, Minnesota. Now he he went with a really with a a horse in front of him. They call it with the windshield, but he was so far ahead of him you could hardly have done him much good. Five, he had paced the mile in October at Lexington in 55 and a quarter, and he went to beat that record. And went, in, as I say, in 50, and this mile here is in 55. Bayton's had a Dan Patch automobile once, and uh, he just did a wonderful job and really loved horses. Unfortunately, Mr. Savage passed away at the age of 57. He passed away just, I believe, 30 hours after Dan Patch had taken sick and died. And they just got word to Mr. Savage in the hospital that Dan Patch had passed away. And I really believe it, it, it was kind of helped... Uh, he was pretty sick, and it helped. Well, I didn't say it helped uh, make, uh, kill him, but I think he kind of lost heart after hearing his, his uh, great horse died. This is John Miller talking. This is a an old... 16 millimeter film I had by Mr. Savage and Dan Patch and right there you'll see they covered half mile track they had at Savage, Minnesota. There is the covered half mile track you see from the inside. Incidentally, uh, Dan Patch died July 11, 1916 and uh, took an autopsy of him and said he was heart. He just had a, a large heart, an athletic heart. It weighed nine pounds, two ounces. I wonder if he should have weighed about five.